Hey y'all, Silvox here. Welcome to Lost Recipes. Shell Games is sponsored today's video. That way I can become a little bit more cultured inside of the food world because right now I am just a man of tacos, which there's nothing wrong with that, but I need to learn how to cook more things. So that's exactly what I'm doing today. This game just released, so if you want to check it out, I'm going to leave a link to it down in the description. Shell Games, thank y'all for sponsoring today's video. Now without further ado, let's learn how to make some food. Like cooking, traveling, and ghost? Join now. That sounds interesting. <gasps> A new volunteer? You want to cook for ghosts, huh? Think you can learn a bunch of traditional recipes? Well, come over here and we'll get you trained up. I did not expect ghosts. Out, out of all things, I did not expect to be cooking for ghosts. I'm, I'm down. Teleport to the ghost flame. Hi. I've got some ghosts who'll be real excited to meet you okay. and share their recipes. I think you'll have a lovely time. First, you need to learn how to get around the kitchen. Once you're oriented, follow me. Okay, pull yourself along to follow the ghost. Okay, you just grab it and go. Got it. Yeah, you've got it. Now turn to your right. When you're ready, come over here and ring this bell. Got it. That ooh, will ooh, make ooh, ooh. you a Wait. certified ghost chef in training. Dope. Will this break? No, but I can pour tea though. Very nice. Can I actually drink it? I don't know if I drank that or spilled it all over my shirt, but it's fine. Either way. It's a party now. That's what I like to see, fellow ghost chef. Now remember, cooking should be relaxing. Take your time and pay attention to the recipes. Okay. Hmm. Speaking of which, where should we start you off? Ah, yes. Let's do ancient Greece. Ooh. Third century BCE. There's an Athenian who wants to share what he used to make for the big festival called Panathenia. Roasting meats, honeyed wine. I'm getting hungry just thinking about it. Okay, we're going Have to ancient there. You're gonna Greece. Do great, and remember, I, she. <laughs> I feel like she was about to tell me something super important, and I just cut her I off. Met. I'm so sorry about that. Oh, this is perfect. I was hoping to get someone in time for the Panathenia. Well, let's get you situated. I've got a lovely recipe I want you to try. Okay, follow me. Oh, teleport. Got it. Oh, they got little light stations. Okay. Now, so if Panathina I need to move it here, is our largest I can festival. move quickly. Athletic games, music, and of course, good food. That's where you come in. We'll start off easy. A triad of stables, grapes, grains, and olives. This recipe tablet should have everything you need to get started. Okay. Recipe tablet. It's like a, uh... Add to the marinade charcuterie board. one spoon or a of thyme, seal a mixing bowl about a third full with olive oil. Which one? Which one is the olive oil? Oh gosh, is this olive oil? Oh, olive oil. Prized among my people. No, literally, we've used it as prizes. You win a chariot race during Panathenia, you get a hundred and forty and four a full of olive oil. Oh dang, they actually win olive oil. Interesting. Okay. Now what? Uh, one, one spoon, spoon of thyme and, and three spoons of rosemary. Okay. Let's do one spoon of thyme. Add that in. And three of rosemary. There we go. And now what else? Add, Add olives. The olives. And are you a fan of green olives or black olives? I like floating olives. I'm gonna I'm gonna take that one. That one specifically. So let them marinate. Perfect. Now those will need to marinate for a bit. Did you know green olives are just black olives that haven't had as much time to even? Really? The tools and ingredients for making pita are over here. Ah, uh, okay. We're gonna use the pestle to grind up Z and barley. Grains and a flour. It should be half full flour after grinding. Okay. So, I'm gonna take this one, right? A mix of Z grain. Oh, Z is another name for farro. And barley will make a hearty pita. Okay. And then we need to grind them up with this, right? Do I do this side? Or this side? Does it matter? It does not matter for the game. They do not care. <laughs> Either or is fine. Okay, what's next? Add a spoon of salt and splashes of sourdough starter, water, oil, and milk. Okay. Splash. Look at all these ingredients. Splash. We want about a Splash. five to three mix of Whoa. flour to liquid. That's the ratio for most bread. Splash. And it will there we get go. us the consistency we want. Okay. Take your time measuring things out. We are in no rush. I, I did not take any time at all. I spilled stuff and it seemed to work, so. 
I'm just gonna keep going. Smooth the dough until it's a round ball. Then let it rise. There we go. Perfectly smooth it out. round and smooth. Wonderful. Fresh charcoal oh, will over here. if added to the old coals in the oven. Where's the... Oh, down here. Dude, we're, we're going all out. We're making everything from scratch. This is awesome. There we go. Where's he at? Ghost buddy. What's going on over there? Split the dough in half with a knife. Roll it with a pin to flatten. Okay. Split it in half with a knife. Got it. Looks Careful. like the oven is hot enough to start baking some pitas. We gotta roll it out. So let's go ahead and just roll it. Okay. I'm gonna roll you out too. That's starting to look like a pita. Okay. And then I'm going to put them on a plate because I don't want to drop them as I'm heading over there. I think I need to do one on each. So we're going to go ahead and toss this over. Toss that in. Good. Let's let that bake. Put that up there. How there are we the go. olives coming along? I, I don't know. I don't know. Let's check on them. There's so much happening in this kitchen. It's just like a real kitchen. Pour okay. off the marinade and put the olives in a small bowl. Remember to serve the grapes too. Okay. So pour off the marinade. Don't worry about skins. There we go. And then put the olives in a small bowl. We're going to move these over. Hopefully they don't drop on the floor. Oh, dude, look at look at the precision. Look at the precision. I'm a chef. There we go. And we got the grapes ready. The pitas are done. Oh, the pita smells perfect. Got look, it. Don't let it burn. My bad. I got it. I got it. We're good. We're good. Okay, place, place the meal on a serving table. table and ring the bell. And ring the bell. Got it. What a go. wonderfully simple recipe, but so many issues. Don't you think? I'm coming. Hang on. And is that it? Oh wait, too many dishes. I got it. My bad, man. Um. Oh, I'll get that. Let's see how we did, shall we? Nyabuya. Oh wait, the plate came back. I don't. We don't need that. It's fine. Oh wait, he's eating it. What? That was pretty good. Hey, good deal. We got four stars. Looks like you've got the basics down. Presentation, ingredients. Wait, did I miss something? I didn't get five stars. Oh, I'm not the best chef. Dang, I missed something, but it's okay. I think the pita dough could have used a bit more Z flour. I would like a bit more rosemary on the olives. Okay, so there, there is a measurement. Like, you've got to get it exact. I thought I had it right, but it's okay. I'm learning. I'm a chef in training here. All right, so next up, we're making some... I'm going to butcher this. Loco, 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 loco mandes. Probably not the right way to say it, but you know what? That's what we're cooking. Let's get into it. Where's my Greek ghost buddy? What's up? Loco mandes, such a classic. We sometimes call them honey tokens. They were given out as prizes at the Olympics. These were prizes? Dude, y'all got food for prizes? That's awesome. Okay. In the mortarium, use the pestle to grind Z grains into flour. Okay. It should be half full of flour after grinding. Half full after grinding, so I need to make sure it's half full. I need I need to make sure I'm doing good with these measurements here. <laughs> grinding flour from scratch takes a lot of elbow grease, doesn't it? Ah, I can't. How do how do you know? Can you measure this? I don't feel like. I feel like maybe a little bit more. I'm I'm gonna say that's good. I, I'm trying to do better better with my uh, my measurements. So At we're gonna just cook the best here. Some water and a splash of sourdough starter to form the oh, dough. Oh, oh. Wait, that's not what I wanted. That's what I wanted. Okay, spoon of salt. Psh, toss a that little in. bit of salt can make a sweet Some dish water. taste even sweeter. There we go. And then a splash of uh, sourdough starter. Psh. There we go. We got the dough formed. Smooth it out. Smooth until it's a round ball. That looks perfect. Come over here where I am. Okay, what's next? Fresh charcoal. Fresh charcoal again. When added to your old grill fire. Gotcha, gotcha. There we go. Heat up oil in the frying pan until it boils. I got you. Heating up that oil till it boils. Heat up oil in the frying pan until it boils. Okay, it, it is boiling, but you haven't told me otherwise, so maybe maybe more oil? That's what I needed, more oil, okay. Oh, uh, where'd you go? Bring the large dough ball over to the pan. Scoop Spend out at least six, six dough, dough balls, dropping each one into the boiling... Look at that. Okay. It's doublet in size. So scoop out six dough balls. Do I just scoop it directly out of this? Oh, you do, look at that. Oh, oh 
I'll get that. Thank you. Appreciate that. Nice. Okay, so we got six here, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. I don't know how to do math. Right on. Let's move over here. Woo! They started to cook. I didn't even put them in there. Let the dough balls fry. When they are a deep golden brown, move each dough ball to the plate. Okay. Let's drop them in. Let them boil. Let them boil in the oil. While you're waiting for those to fry, take a look out the window. That's Parthenon. We just finished it. A magnificent monument to the goddess Athena, the patroness of Athens, and goddess of wisdom and war. This is interesting, man. You get to take in the culture by literally looking out the window, figuring out like stuff that they want for prizes. It's a lot of food. This is interesting. It's very interesting. These are just about done, it looks like. Move each dow ball to the plate. Don't worry about spills. How do I specifically take one of the... Maybe I should scoop it out instead of use my fingers. Oh, wait, 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 no. Those look a little pale. Oh, sorry. They feel undercooked to me, don't you think? Oh, okay, I'm seeing it now. A deep golden brown. Oh, look there we go. That. That's They're what I needed. Turning a perfect golden brown. They, they look like little apples. Let them cool a bit before adding the honey sauce so they'll be crispy. Okay, sounds good. Well, wait. In earth and bowl, combine half water and half honey. Half water, half honey. Got it. Half water, and then half honey. Honey, the food of the gods. Ambrosia. Okay. Now what? Over here? Move the pan and aside. aside. And bring the bowl of honey mixture to a boil. Got it. Don't spill, don't spill, don't spill. And move that over. Don't knock anything over. Bring the honey to a boil after we've already moved over the oil. Okay. Use the spoon. Use the spoon to dip each golden dough ball in the still hot honey mixture. When they are shiny, return them to the plate. Sounds good. Dude, this is... I'm actually having a good time. I want to make these. They look delicious and I love honey. This needs to heat up though. We need it to boil before we... Okay, there we go. They're boiling. Opa, I can't wait. There we go. It's shiny. All right, next. Dude, forget going to like Google or anywhere else. I'm just gonna play this game to get my recipes from now on. There we go. Now what? Use the grater. Use the grater to sprinkle some fresh cinnamon on top oh, of Oh, cinnamon on it? Oh my goodness. This is gonna be so good. Perfect. Just one scrape of cinnamon per dough ball is enough. There we go. Now what? In I'm like... <laughs> bowl, add one part wine, I'm getting hungry over here. parts water, a splash of honey, and a cinnamon stick. Uh, in another bowl, add one part wine, three parts water, and a splash of honey, and a cinnamon stick. Where... Oh, extra bowl down here. Got it. Uh... Go out the window. Okay, dough cannot go out the window. You know what? That'd be disgraceful. My bad. You're right. One part wine. There we go. And then three parts water. Oh. Is that three parts? I don't feel like that's three parts. Oh, I might have. I might have messed up the mixture. Uh, can I? Can I re? Can I restart? Is that okay? Can I just? I can't. <laughs> okay. <laughs> There we go. That made the sprinkle, made the sound. I don't feel like that's right though. That's one part rind, three parts honey, or water. I don't know how to speak. One part wine, three parts water, but I don't feel like that's three parts of water. I feel like that needs more water. A splash of honey, you know what, we're just gonna do it. Splash of honey. I'm probably gonna get a one star for this one. Oh, I just realized the honey's pouring out slowly. Look at that. I feel like more water's needed. We're gonna go for it. Little, little, little splash. That's fine. Yeah, it's fine. You know what? If it comes out a little bit watery, that's that's my bad. And then a cinnamon stick. Wait, do I just add the cinnamon stick? Cinnamon. Nice. My favorite spice. Hey, you know, cinnamon bark used to be more valuable than gold. Really? 
Cinnamon bar used to be more valuable than gold? That's wow. Okay, heat the uh, the honey wine until it is boiling. Give me a minute. Serve the heated wine in a kilix. Where's a where's a kilix? I don't that's not a kilix, is it? Is that a kilix? What is a kilix? A kilix is by far the best way to drink wine. It's shallow, so it makes you want to slow down. Sit there we back. Are. Relax. Debate some philosophy. Place the mill on the serving table oh, and ring the bell. Oh, okay. Alright, I'm gonna try not to spill things here. Oh, I say that as I'm spilling things. Dude, I am so nervous. I don't know how waiters do this. Alright, so. We're gonna place that there. It's all about presentation, too. So that's down. Uh, I wanna arrange these a little bit better. A little, little bit better. A little, little spaced out. They're not spacing out. I'm just gonna wiggle them. Just gonna wiggle it. There we go. Are they ready? All right, let's, let's see what I get. Shall we? Yamas. Okay, okay. I'm ready. What do you think? By Zeus, that was magnificent. Just like we used to have during the festival. Okay, all right. Hey, five stars, there we go. Remarkable. I'm moving up in life. You are really taken to this ghost chef job. Well done, I am no athlete, but I will compete if these were the prizes. Dude, that's so cool. Ready to try the last ancient Greek recipe? 100%. Oh, you're going to love this one. It's called souvlaki. Souvlaki, on okay. A stick. Absolutely delicious. Oh, it looks good. Wait, is this the one that was actually on the great like marinade. the game's the screen? It looks like it. Souvlaki. It looks like it. it. Looks good. Okay, I'm ready for this. In a mixing bowl, combine equal parts wine and honey. Equal parts wine and honey. Where's my honey at? Has anybody seen my honey? Where, where my, where my honey at? Oh, honey. Okay. Well, oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Stop. Oh, jeez, I'm spilling stuff everywhere. Okay. Ha! Wine and honey. I can't wait. There we go. Got those done. We're gonna put that back up there. That over there. All right. And next. Add Ooh. spices to the marinade. One spoon coriander. Two spoons garlic. One spoon marjoram. One spoon rosemary. Okay. And two spoons of silphium. Okay. Okay. So one spoon coriander. Two spoons of garlic. One spoon of more. Oh man, I'm butchering these. More jam. More, more marjoram. Marjoram. We're going to say that is the name and go on from there. <laughs> this is why I need this game. It's teach me not only how to cook things, how to pronounce things, how to... I'm, I'm just trying to be cultured. That's it. One spoon of rosemary. Stick that in. And two spoons of this last bit over you here. Know, it's been harder and harder to find silphium. Silphium. I suppose a hide in... Yes, that looks good. Thank you. Hey, have you done this before? Uh, two times, actually. Two times. Use a knife to chop the pork loin evenly into eight cubes. Oh, jeez, so eight cubes? can be made with any meat, really. But okay. pork's my favorite. We're gonna chop it down the middle. Okay, that's not even. Uh, crud. <laughs> oh, this is so not even. Uh, oh no. Oh no. How many you got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, we do have enough, okay. It's it's definitely not it's not perfect, but I'm trying my best here. Hey, I didn't I didn't lose any fingers, so that's good. Add, Add the pork cubes, pork cubes to, to the, the marinade, marinade and, and let it sit. I love his voice. It's it's just it's so nice. Oh, these are going to taste good. I can feel it. They are. They're absolutely gonna taste good. Kobe. There we go. Off the backboard. The meat's in the air, splashing down. What in the world? Where the, there we go. Hop. There we go. Let's make some fresh pita. A good souvlaki has got to be on a pita. On a pita, and okay. I know you already know how to make it. I, I, I do, I do. We did this before. Let me head on over here. Z and barley. So we're going to go one, two, three. It should be half full of flour after grinding. Okay. Let's grind this baby up. Add a spoon of salt and splashes of sourdough starter, water, oil, and milk. Hey, these sourdough starters been in my family for generations. Never there fails to make a good Ooh. pita. Don't spill, do not spill the olive oil here. Just don't do it. Smooth the dough, Smooth got it. Smooth the dough until it's a You're getting good at this. Fresh charcoal, Fresh charcoal. got it. We light if added I remember to how to do this, we're gonna toss it in. Oven. 
Let's put the dough in half with a knife. In half with a knife. Roll it with a pin to flatten. Oh, oh, I'll get that. Thank you. I was, <laughs> I was trying to show off. Not the best thing to do. Really not. That's starting to look like a pita. Thank you. They feel and wonderful. Close the door. Now, while that's baking, let's start a fire under the grill. Okay. Fresh charcoal we light when added to your old grill fire. Got it. Now what? Pour off the marinade from the pork cubes. Put four cubes on each skewer. Okay. Okay, so I need to go over here. Pick this up. Do not drop it. Pour off the marinade from the pork cubes. I think the grill is ready. The pita smells there we go. perfect. Quick! Oh, don't oh, let oh, it burn. Oh, got it. Yep. Sorry. Sorry. There. Yeah. Hup, hup. Got it. Okay, we're good. We're good. Pitas are good. That was. I was close. I almost burned them. It was almost bad. Okay, four on a skewer each. So we're gonna go. One. Two. This is not. You know what? Uh, oh wait, the bowls are connected. That's not good. Three. Yep. And then. Oh, that's the bowl. And. Oh. Four. That looks so good. All right, so we're gonna place this on the grill. Mmm, just listen to that sizzle. Cook skewers of meat over the fire. Rotate them so they don't. Keep okay. Turning them so they don't burn. Remove them whenever they're cooked through. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. All right, this one I'm I'm almost done over here. That bottom side needs to cook a little bit, but it's not quite getting there. Can I take those two pieces off? Yes, I can. Because these need to be cooked a little bit better. They are not quite getting it done. There we go. There we go. That's better. Prepare Kilix. Kilix. One part wine and three parts water. Okay. One part wine, three parts water. So this particular Kilix is called a night cup. It's got eyes painted on the outside, so it looks a bit like a mask when you drink from it. Does it? Oh, it does. Okay, yeah. So whatever you drink, it does look like a mask. That's cool. Place the meal on the serving table and ring the bell. Uh, ring the bell when ready. Hang on. I gotta I gotta work my presentation here because my meat skewers are not looking good. I got two pieces of meat that are just hanging off. There we go. Okay. Got that done. Oh, wait. Oh, it's all connected. Okay. I'm gonna grab this. Do not spill. What the? I, I, <laughs> I just flung the meat. Went flying. Oh, jeez. Goodness gracious. I'm gonna I'm gonna take this first before I actually break something. Whenever you are ready for me to try the food, okay. just ring that bell. No rush, I'll be patient. Please do, because I'm going to need a hot minute. Got the pitas. Your meal is coming up. Give me just one second, sir. Alright, pita. Right there. Eat. Okay, placement, placement. It's all about placement. Get that out of here. Placement, there we go. Alright, last but not least, do not spill the mix. <laughs> Hang on. Almost got it. Okay. And... Voila. Well, let's give this a little taste. My stomach's growling so loud, I gotta stop making food. <laughs> let's see what he says. What do you think? Yes, absolutely fantastic. Yes. Come on, tell me. You must have made this before. Uh, yes. no. Oh, no, first time, man. Well. Stressing about it a lot, too. Five stars? Four star. You know what? I'll accept it because I feel like I did bad on skewers. You completed all the Greek recipes. I knew you had it in you to be a great ghost chef. All right. So we, we have completed Greece. How about you try Song Dynasty China next? That's so like cool. Looks like there's a lady who wants to pass on a few spring festival dishes. All right. So instead of going to China, I'm going to go ahead and end it here, guys. Thank you all for watching. If you want to check this out for yourself and learn more recipes, get a little bit more cultured with food. Check out Lost Recipes. Once again, thank you to Shell Games for sponsoring today's video. I actually enjoyed it a lot, and I will be back. This is this is dope. I want to make more food. Anyway, until next time, y'all take care. Y'all have a lovely day. Thank you for watching. I, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go eat.